Hey guys, so I'm going to take a bit of a break from book reviews today even though I've got like three that I still want to do. I did something today and it's really exciting, well for me, I, I'm really excited about it. I don't know if you guys will be, but it's something that you guys could do if you feel like it. Um, but yeah, that thing is this. Um, now, you don't know what this is, but that's okay. That's why I'm here, because I know what this is. And because we're friends, I'm going to tell you. This is a jar. It's a, it's a jar. Um, once upon a time held a dead moth. And before that, God knows what. Probably jam. Now it holds these little pieces of paper. And on these little pieces of paper, I have written all of the titles of the books that I own or have on PDF that I haven't read yet. So this jar basically contains my to read pile. And I've called it the book jar. And what you do with this is some of us, God knows I do, obviously, because that's full of paper. Um, some of us have so many books that we buy um, that we want to read, but you don't always know what you want to read at the time. You can't choose which one you want to read. So this, you put all the titles in the little jar, and then when, you, um, when you're when you looking for something to read, you pick a title out of the jar, and whatever you pick is what you read next. Um, and it's just a little fun way of organizing your to-read pile, which can be a little daunting sometimes, but this collects them all into one cute little place there. Obviously, I've called mine the book jar, but I don't know, whatever you want call yours. Obviously you can dress it up as a dinosaur and call it Herbert and he can devour your book titles and then regurgitate them back to you one at a time. I've just found my to read pile to be a little too big for me to uh, navigate um, and whenever I look at it I look at the books and I go I mean I want to read these but I don't know which one I want to read first. I don't know how to pace them and but this is just the, the jar. The jar is the power. It tells you what to do. Just let, let the jar dictate your life and you'll be happy. Really, it's just a cute and fun way to organize your to-read pile. Um, I know there are some people, I found this idea on Pinterest. I can't take credit for this. I found it on Pinterest. There are some people who organize their jars. They like color code their jars by genre. Some people only pick out of the jar once a month or twice a week, depending on how fast you read. It's totally up to how you want to run your jar. Me, I will just be picking out of it as soon as I finish a book. It's just going to be my what to read next jar. This, I can pace myself in my book reading and that pleases me greatly because I'm always a mess with that. Do um, do any of you have to be read jars and does it work for you? And if you don't have a to be read jar, do you think it's something that you would be interested in making for yourself? Like, do you think it would help you or do you have a different way of organizing your to read pile? Let me know because that's always a problem that I've had and solutions are always a good thing. Although I think I'll be sticking with this one because oh, it's adorable. Um, so yeah, that's really all I have to say. And I love you, bye. The writing of this book does not disappoint, and in fact actually delivers on quite a few of the classic Snicket styles that we have grown to love. For example... And what exactly is the color of someone buying you an ice cream cone for no reason at all? Or am I asking the wrong question? <laughs>